Every day, more than 8 billion searches happen on Google. And when people are ready to buy, more than 65% of people actually click on an ad. Google is one of the best ways to reach people who are actively searching for your product, making it the most direct response ad platform. That's why we've added a smarter way to create your Google search ads inside Play, so you can tap into that demand with better targeting and less guesswork. So while Google ads can drive massive results, the truth is it's easy to waste money if your targeting and ad copy isn't set up right. That's exactly why we built several new Google search ad features inside of Play to make smarter targeting and creative effortless. Let me show you how it works. So inside of Play, we offer 11 different ad platforms and over six different types of Google ads. What I'm about to show you is more focused on Google search, but it can also work for Google display ads and also your YouTube ads and Google call ads as well. So all we're gonna do is go to the brand context area and help Play better understand your brand. All you have to do is add in your website. I'm gonna do this one for road skin. And all you have to do is tap generate. This will generate everything for you, bring in your brand colors. This will bring in the industry and also write the instructions that you can edit and add things like never use the word free, but it's almost like a little prompting area. So this creates your ad agent for you. So everything again is on brand with what your business is already doing. All we have to do is go to advertise. You want to connect your ad accounts. My ad accounts are already connected. But once we're inside of Google search, all we have to do is just describe what we're advertising. So this can be new, Skin care, facial cream, something like that. You don't need to be a prompt wizard. You can always load this up. There's up to 5,000 characters, but we already understand everything about your brand. So this is all you have to type in. You could even just type in an offer and this is gonna generate everything for you. So we'll have headlines already generated for us. Descriptions already generated for us. You could pin certain headlines if you want to. And this is the main part is inside of the targeting. So what we've done inside of the targeting is added several things. You can go to related keywords right here to see if you like any of these keywords, you could hover over to see the match types added. I'll show you how you can easily add bulk actions right here. You could easily just update all of these keywords at once that are selected over to just phrase if you want to. You can do automatic, which selects exact and phrase if you wanted to. And let's say you only want this one to be exact. You can just hover over this and remove phrase match if you want to. Let's say you wanna see more ideas for this natural beauty skincare. You can tap show ideas. You can hover over these, see different costs per clicks, search volume and everything. And you can even select this one if you want to. Now, let's say you don't like any of these keywords right here. You can switch over to some other marketing angles and some other keyword angles to choose from. Again, there's different options right here. General skincare terms, if we wanted to, we can go with this. There's now this option to update ad copy with your keywords. It's always the best practice inside of Google to have your keywords matching your ad copy, mostly inside of the headlines. This helps with relevancy. This helps with your quality score um, and several other metrics inside of Google Ads. So because we changed these keywords out from what uh, are related to the prompt, we can just have this option right here and this will actually update the ad copy to match our selected keywords. You can always come in here. You can add more keywords if you want to from your own. Um, you can do like, you know, fun skin, whatever you want. You can select the match types and, you know, you can just add this if you wanted to. So you have that control. And again, you can do the bulk actions right here if you want to change all the match types. So we want to update the ad copy with these keywords that I have selected right here. So now we'll go into this ad copy and we can see that everything has now been updated to focus more on these specific keywords. Now, what we've also added inside of this targeting area is a keyword explorer tool. So you can tap continue right here. If you wanted to go straight to the keyword explorer, you could also find the keyword explorer tool inside of the creative hub, inside of the audiences. It'll be this first option right here. And this is the keyword explorer. So this will help you forecast, see search volume, um, and average cost, cost per click per any keyword or brand or product or service. So we could type in something here like just skincare. You could choose any language that you want, or you could even type this in, you know, Spanish if you want to. You could change out the language. This is optional. This will be defaulted to the United to the U.S. unless you add a target location. So we could we could leave this optional, or we could even add it per city if we wanted to. So if we want to do like. San Francisco, see the search volume in this particular city. And we can just tap search. 
So now we can see how many times skincare is searched for in San Francisco, the average cost per click, and other, and also see different keyword ideas here. Now, what's great about this is that you can, let's say I want to select this one. Let's say I want to select this one or this one or this one. So what this allows you to do is to create a keyword plan for you to create new campaigns or even add to existing campaigns or even to create a new ad group inside of an existing campaign if you wanted to. So what's really great about this, let's say I have three keywords selected. Let's say I just want to see, you know, more ideas for this one right here. So you don't always have to go into the search area. You can just tap show ideas and it'll show you this search volume, average cost per click and everything. So you can just tap right here. You already have these selected. You'll already have your previous one selected and you can see your new idea right here with all this data that you can use. So let's say these ones look good. We can just tap, you can change the match type. Maybe I only want this one to be exact. I can tap save keywords. I can add to an existing plan or I can create a new plan. We just want to give this plan a name like skincare, tap save plan. And what's great about this is that I could tap right here. I can create a campaign. Maybe I want to do it for Google search. Maybe I want to add it to YouTube or Google display. So if I wanted to create a YouTube campaign, I can just tap right here. Now, why we do this for YouTube is because contextual targeting is always the best. Like when you do audience based targeting, you know, let's say, you know, you are a skincare brand. Do you really want to show your ads before someone's watching a tire shop? You know how to change a tire video on YouTube It's probably not the best thing. It's much better to show your skincare brand when people are already watching similar based videos. So you can use your existing keyword plan right here. And now what you're doing is that you're going to show before related content. You know, if you think about it, like where does Nike advertise? Nike advertises at basketball games and baseball games, football games. Where does Rolex advertise? They advertise at tennis sports events and golf tournaments. It's just always great to be contextually relevant versus so audience based. So this is again, one of the options that you could do for YouTube. You could also show before specific videos if you wanted to, so you could paste in channels or videos, but this is always the best. This is one of the best ways to do it. Instead of just going so audience based where, you know, again, you might show your skincare brand before, uh, you know, someone's watching a, you know, how to, how to fix my toilet video on YouTube. It's just not the best thing to do. So it's just a great way to do it. So you can add these to your YouTube campaign. If you wanted to create a YouTube video, you can just add up to five different YouTube videos. So we can search here for like road skincare. You can paste your own YouTube video too. It's like this one. Let's say these are fine and everything. We could just generate the rest of this copy if we wanted to as well for the headline description. Targeting is already here. Website's already here. So you're ready to go for YouTube. If you want to do this for Google display, same thing. Google displays a network of millions of websites where you can show your ads next to relevant articles about skincare. Same exact thing. Why we would want to use keywords here for Google display. It's one of the best options to do this, to get higher results and show higher intent and contextual relevancy. So what we want to do here, we already have our prompt. We can add some base images to create our ad creative for us. So let's say this image looks good. Let's say, you know, this image is good for this ad. So we have three images selected and now we can just tap confirm, generate, and now our ad creative will be generated for us. And just like that, we'll have our ad creative ready to go. You could always generate more ad creative if you want to by just tapping generate more. Now here's where you can also select a saved audience if you want to. So we already have our skincare option from that list. So we can have our keywords right here and just choose your location. You're ready to go. So very easy to do. There's multiple ways that you can add your keyword plans into your campaigns right here across platforms. Same thing inside of Google call ads. If you want to do click to call ads right from Google, this is great for service based businesses. If you want to do click to phone call ads as well, sticking with the keyword plans is that you can tap this option right here to add keyword plans to a live campaign or to replace campaigns. So let's say I want to go with this campaign right here. You can select your ad group right here. Now you can choose if you want to add it to this ad set or replace it. So this would remove any keywords from this ad set right here. So just a few options that you can use these keyword plans and just taking another look at the keyword explorer tool. You can tap right here. 
And you could even type in something like Nike if you wanted to and just tap search. So this can work with anything. It's really nice to have a feature to sort of build your keyword plans, send them over to clients. You can share these plans with clients as well. So, you know, you can select multiple keywords right here. Boom, boom, boom. And you can tap show ideas if you want more things on Air Force. You can tap save keywords, add keywords to an existing plan if you want to. Or you want to do it to this test one. You can tap right here and you can even, you know, share this keyword plan to existing clients for them to use in their own ads if you want to. You could share to all clients or just share to certain clients if you want to. And while we're on the topic of Google, on the analytics area, you can import existing campaigns that you might have even created outside of play and manage them and add different ad groups, change the budgets, do whatever you want to do. So you can tap right here to view the results. If I tapped right here, this would import my campaign that I created inside of Google Ads, import it into play so I can manage everything I need to inside of play. This can work for Google Search, Pmax, Demand Gen, and others. Let's say all I want to do though is just make this a template. Let's say I like how this ad is doing. I can tap right here to turn this ad into a template into my creative hub. So that way, you know, let's say I have an ad that's working. I can pull in the creative. I can share it to other clients. I can speed up the ad creation process. I already know this ad is working. Let me just turn this into a template that I can share to my existing clients. So we can tap view templates right here. And here is one of the ads that we brought in and we can edit right here. You can add custom fields to this if you want to, like business name, website, add any field that you want. And let's say we like this, how this template's looking. You can even add a you know custom website field template here. So this is great if you're sending this over to clients for them to launch an ad very similar to this. So they could do website right here, tap save, so I'm converting an ad that's already performed well inside of my Google Ads account into a template inside of Play. Again, I could have also just imported the existing campaign to manage that for my account, or I can do this so I can share this template over to other clients. And all they have to do is just tap advertise. This will show a custom website field here. So this, you know, this is a custom field that I added. I could tap save. Now for them, everything's already ready to go. The targeting is ready to go uh, from the template. And this is the custom field that we added. And they can just tap launch on this campaign. So just a few other things that we added to make your Google search ad creation process even easier. So as always inside of Play, when you first create your Google search ad, you're first creating it as one ad group, one campaign, one ad group. But you can always go in here and to edit and you can create a new ad group right here. So you can add as many ad groups as you want. You could also create an ad group from a template if you wanted to as well. So inside of that Creative Hub library, we have a template option where you can add custom fields to templates. Um, you can do anything that you want. So you can also create a whole ad set from a template if you want to. Even though we just showed you some Google examples on this home tab, you'll actually see options of how these ads are created cross platform as well. You know, let's say we actually wanna launch this now on Meta. We can tap create ad right here. And this whole ad is also ready to go on Meta. Targeting and everything recommended as well, ready to go on Meta. One more thing going back to Google search is that we've also added AI Max. Now, what this will do is that it's gonna pull more from your current keywords, it's gonna pull more from your landing pages um, and from your creative as well inside of Google to help show you to more broader and potentially relevant searches. That's why we have it off right now, it's still new, but we're just giving you that option to do it right now. Um, I will say if you want more control, that's sort of what we help you with. You know, If you only wanna show on Google search, that's what we do. You know, inside of Google search, if you just tap, try to create a Google search ad inside of Google, they might actually show your ad on search partners and even on the display network, which can just destroy your results. So these are things that we already have baked into play, a lot of safety rails and features. That's why we don't actually have this turned on by default right now. It's still a new feature and unsure of the performance. Some of you may have already tested it and want it. So we have it in here for you. With that, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.